So we had found when we were doing this three prize problem, one of the things we had said was that the student who qualifies for the prize must be in the top three in at least one subject. At least one subject, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we had calculated for each subject the top three marks in that subject. So in mathematics, for instance, there were two with 97, that was the top mark, one with 93, one with 89. So 97, mm -hmm. 93 and 89 were the top three marks. Mm -hmm. Similarly, in physics, it was 92, 91, 88. Mm -hmm. Chemistry, it was 97, 93, 92. But what we have not recorded in this is who got these marks. Right? So we only know that somebody got 92, so somebody got 88. In fact, so we noticed that somebody who did well in chemistry, topper in chemistry, had not got very good marks in maths and physics. Yeah. On the other hand, the topper in maths and physics had not necessarily done, was not the topper in chemistry as far as I remember. Right? Yeah. So now one so question to ask is in this collection of people who have got top three marks in one of the subjects. Is there somebody who has actually managed to get not the top mark, but at least within the top three in all, all, the, three, subjects. all three subjects? Right? All three subjects. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Which means that, what does it mean? It means that student must be, so student must be in this. Yeah, so there is a category. maths set, so to speak. There is a maths set, the students who got either 97, 93 or 89. That's the maths set. That's the maths set. Then we have a physics set. So, people who got in physics 92, 91 or 88. Yes. And then we have a chemistry set. It's 97, 93 or 92 in chemistry. Yeah. And now we want to check whether this intersection of these three, these sets, three sets is got empty or, is empty or not. Whether there is some, some student who will be there. I suspect yeah. that at least one student will be there. Maybe two. So, so what we will need to do is now find out. What is your guess? I think there will be two, three, uh, two. Maximum three. one, I think. Maximum one. One? Yeah, maximum. None, none. Maximum okay, one. Okay, we will see. We will find out. Okay. All right. I think that there will be two. Let us see what happens. So, how do we do this? So, we go through this. And so, we know anyway these marks. Yeah. So, so like, all we have to do is filter this. Yeah. And like last time, uh, we will record okay. record the record, record the, the list. We record will the list. we will not physically put in the uh, uh, index markers, 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 but we'll imagine that they are there. Hmm. So, without disturbing the thing, we will just note down in a separate thing, the list of those cards. List of so, anybody cards. who has got, now we are doing the maths list. So, maths list. So, maths so list. what you want me to check, 97, 93 or 89? Yeah, anybody who has so got 89. 89. Okay. So, the card number is 14. You may keep maths in one and physics in another, you want to keep everything in one. No. Yeah, it is because there are only a few which okay. will be in the top. So, you are not 14. Made. 14. No. 87. No. 62. No. 97. Okay, that is 11. 97. 23. 84. No. 68. No. 87. No. No. 78. No. 81. No. 65. No. 57. No. 72. No. 63. No. 74. No. 72. No. 93. Uh, yes. 93 is there, right? Yeah. 20. 93 is there. Yeah. 20. So, 64. No. 81. No. 81. No. This is a big card, huh? Oh, so I think maybe that's a mis, uh, misprinted okay. card. Maybe we should pull it out. Yes. Seventy-one. No. Eighty-seven. No. Sixty-two. Seventy-four. No. Seventy-four. No. Forty-four. No. Sixty-two. No. Fifty-two. No. Fifty-six. No. Forty-two. No. Seventy-six. Okay. So, so now, with, so now we have come up with these four. So and I didn't disturb it because yeah, without disturbing because the same order. Yeah. You just the same seen, order. Yes. Yeah. And uh, actually, we can validate that we got it right because here, according to our calculation, there were 97, 97, 93, 89. There so, there should have been 4, four. and we have 4. There are 4. So, okay. Okay. so, we have to do the same thing. Of course, we could have done it in one iteration without having to do it yeah, again. Yeah, but it is just, supposing we had done it at different times yeah. and kept track of it, it is okay. just to illustrate that. All right. So, physics like that, we can do physics also. So, so we want 88 and, 88 and above. 88 and above. 92. So, 11. 11. 23. Okay. 7. Okay. This is not 88 and above. Physics 88 and above. Yeah, 88. Plus nine. Nine. 88 and above. Yeah, yeah. 18. Okay. 18. Yeah. 5. Okay. No, uh, no, no. Okay. So, the what is the last one? 58. 58. Okay. 90 was chemistry. Okay. Fine. And so finally, we have uh, chemistry. So, chemistry we want 90. Get the numbers 4 plus 2, 6. 6, correct. All right. Very good. good. Okay. Chemistry. 
chemistry we need 92 and above yes so 14 okay yeah 11 and 92 and above okay 92 and above so 97 18 18 this is 91 okay. next 92 25 91 again i score as in chemistry okay 62 78 90 okay okay there should be 1 2 3 4 we right. right all right good and now, so now what do we do? What is the what is the question? This is a set of all the people who scored uh, in the top three. Uh, top three marks in maths. Top three in marks physics, in physics. Top, top three, three in chemistry. So we don't need the cards now. Yeah, we don't need this also. This is all we need. Yes. So from these three sets, we want to find out if these three intersection of these three sets is yeah. null or yeah has so, something. So what do we do? It you have to iterate. You go through this. Yeah. So and for each of these, go through this. Mm -hmm. the each of so it's a three next iteration iteration inside iteration inside iteration my god so you do one pair at a time you can do no i think so i think first we will find out those maths who are physics. both maths and physics only Maybe those need take, to be checked make another card and do it, let's yeah. do it yeah. so let's do that because there's no point in looking for somebody in all three if they are not in two so ah. first we will do maths plus physics so maths is intersection with physics so which means that you go through all the maths of 14 is yeah. it there it's no. not there no 11 yeah, so 11 is in there, so that is okay. 23. 23 is there. 20, not there. No. And so, this it. is right. Two. So, we have got two, two, two people who are in maths plus physics. So, now you intersect that with chemistry. Yeah, so we can go check. through the smaller yeah. list. Better go through. Yeah. 11. So, 11 is there. So, I will write MPC. So, 11 is there. And 23 is not there. That is it. 23 is not there. See, I, I won. <laughs> you got one, huh? Yeah. So I said at most one. And you said at most one. Ah. <laughs> so one. Okay. Mm. All right. So here again is this is an example of where we. And if you want to find eleven, presumably you kept the bookmarks. Yeah. Then so we would just have to look there. for the bookmark for eleven, and we would get that card. Right? So, so we have again we wanted to find the whether or not there is any common student among these three sets. Mm. So we first found the first set, made a list out of it. List of bookmarks. List mm -hmm. of yeah. ways to index right indexes. Physics, we found the set. Chemistry, we found the set, and then we found the intersection through an algorithm without disturbing. Going without back. disturbing, we didn't disturb the cards. Mm. That's the key thing, right? Yeah. And then we identified that there is indeed one person. We can pull that person out. Yes. Wonderful. Interesting. Mm. Mm. 